If you're watching this video, chances are you're a medical student who is looking to survive medical school. We all know that medical school is challenging and requires a lot of hard work, dedication and commitment. But sometimes our habits could be the obstacle in our path to success. As medical students, we must understand that certain bad habits can make our journey through medical school even more challenging. These habits could be the little things we do every day and if we fail to quit them or replace them with good habits, they can hinder our success in medical school. Although these habits may be hard to break, it is often not impossible. Hello there, this is MedZone TV, home to medical school excellence. MedZone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of well-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In this video, we will talk about 10 bad habits many medical students have and need to quit to survive medical school. Please sit back, relax, and listen. Let's start with the most common bad habit many medical students have, which is procrastination. Procrastination is the number one habit you must quit to survive medical school. It is the act of unnecessarily delaying or postponing the things you need to do despite knowing that there will be negative consequences for doing so. Most of us, if not all of us, have procrastinated in some way, no matter how disciplined we are. We go to the library or classroom to study. We choose a study space and sit down at our study decks, open a book and instead of studying, we browse the internet or watch a movie on our phone for the next 2-3 to three hours. Procrastination is putting off the things you need to do when you could be doing it now. As long as you are ignoring the things you could be doing when you could be doing them, you are procrastinating. Instead of procrastinating, plan your work and manage your time wisely. Avoiding procrastination can help you stay on top of your academics, manage your time better and reduce your stress levels in medical school. Another bad habit many medical students have is comparing themselves to their colleagues. Even though most of us try not to, the majority of us are guilty of comparing ourselves to others. This is often done subconsciously, but it is important we train ourselves to break the habit of comparing ourselves to others. When you constantly compare yourself to your colleague in medical school, it can lead to self-doubt and insecurity. You may start to question your abilities and feel like you are not good enough. This can affect your confidence and create unnecessary tension and competition. Instead of supporting each other, you may start to see your colleagues as rivals and this can create a hostile learning environment and affect your mental health. You need to understand that everyone has their own journey and timeline. Just because your colleague is doing better than you in one area does not mean they are better overall. You have your own strengths and weaknesses and it is important to focus on your own progress and growth. Instead of comparing yourselves to your colleagues, Focus on your own journey and progress and celebrate your own accomplishments and growth. Moving on, another bad habit that many medical students have is skipping classes and lectures. Why is skipping classes and lectures in medical school a bad habit and how can it affect your academic performance? Well, when you skip classes and lectures, you miss out on important information you need to know and this can affect your understanding of the subject. Also, Attending classes and lectures gives you the opportunity to interact with your lecturers and colleagues. This can help you build relationships and networks with others in your field of study and this might be useful in the future. Another downside of skipping classes and lectures in medical school is that you may miss out on important information covered in class which may not be available in the textbooks and may be tested in exams and this might lead to poor performance which could in turn affect your overall grades. Also, you might find it difficult to catch up on the material covered as medical school is a fast-paced program and missing even a single class can put you several miles behind. Another bad habit that you must quit to survive medical school is the habit of attending classes or clinical meetings late. Repeatedly arriving late to class can create a negative perception of you among your peers and lecturers and can make you appear unserious and unprofessional. This attitude can be disruptive to both the lecturer and your fellow students, particularly if you enter the class once the lecture already begun. This can cause distractions, interruptions, and could affect the flow of the class. 
When you arrive late, you may also miss out on important updates on patient cases, instructions for clinical rotations, or crucial exam details. Developing good time management skills and being punctual can help you succeed in medical school and in your future career. Another bad habit that many medical students have is sitting on the internet and on social media all day, especially during classes and study time. It is important to avoid social media during classes and study time as it's going to undermine your ability to concentrate in class or on the study material. This distraction can reduce the amount of time spent learning and affect your retention of the information studied, all of which will reduce and lower your productivity and can result in lower grades in medical school. Spending too much time on social media or on the internet during classes or study time can be highly distracting and can negatively impact your medical education. Moving on, another habit you must quit in order to survive medical school is the habit of sleeping too much or too little. As medical students, I would recommend you get 6-7 to seven hours of sleep per night to help with focus, concentration and overall well-being. Getting too little sleep can affect your ability to concentrate and retain information. This can make it difficult for you to keep up with the pace of medical school and can affect your academic performance. Sleep is essential for memory consolidation and retention. Getting too little sleep can affect your ability to remember what you have learned in class or while studying. It can affect your decision-making abilities. It can also affect your mood. Lack of sleep can have negative consequences on your overall health. On the other hand, oversleeping can also have negative consequences too. It is important to prioritize sleep and to aim for a consistent sleep schedule while in medical school. Another bad habit that many medical students have is the habit of piling up study materials and not bothering to study for tests and continuous assessments as intensely as they would have assuming it was an actual exam. Let's face it, one mark in medical school is not one mark as many people would think. Rather, it represents the percentage test score taken from several continuous assessments written in the past. It was not bothering to study for tests and continuous assessments is a bad habit that can affect your ability to survive medical school. Now I know some of you might be thinking, but I'm smart and I can get by without studying for tests, or I have other things to do and studying for tests to accumulate those small marks is just a waste of time. But here is the thing. Not studying for tests or not adequately preparing for tests is a bad habit that can have serious consequences. By adequately studying for tests, you will not only improve your grades but also your clinical skills, confidence and professionalism. If you are still watching this video at this point and probably finding it helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Moving on, another bad habit that many medical students have is the habit of assuming that they remember what they have studied. One of the most critical aspects of succeeding in medical school is studying and retaining the information you learn. However, many medical students fall into the trap of assuming that they remember what they have studied, which can be a bad habit with serious consequences. Don't assume that you remember everything you have studied. Take the time to review the material regularly. Test yourself. Use flashcards quizzes and practice questions to test your knowledge and ensure that you remember everything you have studied. Moving on, another bad habit that you must quit to survive medical school is the habit of studying with the wrong people. Studying with the wrong people can lead to poor grades and the lack of understanding of important concepts. If you are studying with people who are not as dedicated or motivated as you are, you may be tempted to slack off or skip studying altogether, which can negatively impact your academics. Studying with the wrong people can lead to a lack of motivation and enthusiasm. If you are studying with people who are not as passionate as you are, you may find it difficult to stay motivated and enthusiastic about your studies. This can lead to a lack of interest and commitment to your future career. So what can you do to avoid the bad habit of studying with the wrong people? Firstly, be selective about who you study with. Choose people who are as dedicated and motivated as you are and who share similar passion as you. Secondly, set clear goals and expectations for your study group. Make sure everyone is on the same page and committed to achieving the same goal. Finally, be willing to speak up if someone is not meeting your expectations. Don't be afraid to have a difficult conversation if someone is failing to pull their weight. Moving on, another habit medical students must quit to survive medical school is the habit of lacking discipline and time management skills. 
Discipline is the ability to control your behavior and actions to achieve your goals. If you lack discipline, you may find yourself procrastinating, getting distracted easily, and failing to follow through on your commitments. When you are not disciplined, you may find yourself constantly playing catch-up, which can be overwhelming and stressful. This can lead to anxiety and a lack of confidence in your abilities. All of these will have serious consequences for your personal and professional life. By setting clear goals, creating a routine, and practicing self-control and accountability, you will not only improve your academic performance, but also your mental health and personal and professional relationships. So there you have it everyone. Those are the 10 habits that you must quit to survive medical school. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying with us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching the video, then please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting contents. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues as I am quite sure that there are people in your cycle that will find the information contained in this video valuable.